so nine or ten months ago I started this uh, little fashion blog which is a uh, real life my real life um, style every day kind of uh, blog and also that shows like backstage pictures of me working hi I'm Al Malonga and I'm French I'm from Paris I live in New York now I'm a fashion stylist and sometimes I'm a costume designer for theater. Um, I moved to, uh, to New York three years ago and I was um, lucky enough to end up and to land in Dumbo in an amazing art space. Um, and although it's been like complicated at first to adapt to a new a new country, a new continent, and start from scratch with no um, professional network, I managed to, little by little, start doing what I came here to do and what I love, um, which is fashion and styling. I was born in Paris, then when I was a baby, my father who's Cameroonian, who was Cameroonian, and my mom is French-Italian, he took me and my mom to Cameroon, so that's where I grew up. So I grew up in Douala, Cameroon, so I'm, a, I'm biracial, but I'm a real African, because I was there until I was 15, and I think that's enough to like kind of build and shape your work. I got to New York, and I got into the artsy, bohemian, Brooklyn scene. Meeting those people like men and women because I like styling men and women uh, that have that kind of budget and do want to you know hire you to to do something that to them is kind of tedious like going from store to store and like you know putting together outfits I feel like I'm, I'm not I'm not in that uh, how do you say environment and I've really found a I don't know, a way, <laughs> a breach to enter that world. You know, I'm doing all these these gigs right now and I'm working and that's cool and I'm styling like lookbook, lookbooks and uh, custom designing for theater and for commercials and all that stuff, it's cool, but I don't think it's enough. And they were like, but you are your own company. You are your own product, wardrobe breakdown. It's, it's pretty much, it's you, like people stop you on the street all the time, yeah, just to you know, pay you a little compliment about whatever you're you're wearing. So you should just show your style and like do a blog and do like everyday style. I don't have a team, I don't have an assistant, I don't have a photographer following me. There is whatever I'm doing that day, whatever I'm wearing, whoever I'm seeing. They know it now, you know. They just, you know, I'm like, okay, take my phone and take a couple pictures of whatever I'm wearing today. So then after that, because they're not photographers and there's always like, whatever, the frame or whatever is in the background, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't see that. I, I, I just have to edit a little bit afterwards, so it's a lot of work, but Instagram especially is a good platform to, it's like your resume when you're doing something visual, so it's like a good platform to show you know what you're what you're doing and show that you're working and, and show your style and everything the name came up so I'm in Paris um, doing what we call uh, dressing, which means um, I guess in English you would say garage sale or whatever or or yeah pretty much something like that um, so with my girl like okay she, I have oh, I don't know what to wear but I have all these tons of clothes that I don't know what to do with, I need to purge, I need to get rid of stuff. Um, so we threw an event in our apartment that we turned into a pop-up store for three days. So I moved the furniture around, put coat rags, tag, like put tags on everything, etc. So we did that and she got rid of a lot of all those like clutter, all that clutter that she had. Um, of clothing that she wouldn't wear anymore and you know to help her like just sort through it and I did the same and we actually made money uh, 
We actually made money selling everything for one or two dollar uh, euros. But um, I feel like wardrobe breakdown is a double entendre just because, of course, it's a wardrobe like you know, just going through like whatever I'm wearing. Oh, this is this, this is that, whatever. But it's also um, a play on words about like having a nervous breakdown when you open your closet, which is I feel. girl just goes through that and in my wardrobe there are definitely a few things that I'm like I'm so happy I found this I'm so I'm so glad that makes me so happy the cheapest and the more unique it is the happier I am because I have a few of those pieces and among all those pieces there are a few that always get me like everybody's attention and, and are definitely like very different but then I'm like, if you only knew where I found this thing, <laughs> for how much, and that makes me really happy inside. <laughs>